Hi everyone, my name is Adele Church and I'm going to be teaching you about Angelman Syndrome. So, let's get started! Angelman Syndrome, also known as Happy Puppet Syndrome, is a genetic disorder caused by the loss of function of a gene called UBE3A on chromosome 15, which is vital to how the brain controls speech, movement, and learning. UBE3A provides instructions on how to create ubiquitin protein ligase. Ubiquitin protein ligase are enzymes that target other proteins to be broken down within the cell. These enzymes attach small molecules to proteins that need to be degraded. Cellular structures called proteasome recognize these molecules and then digest the protein. Protein degradation is a normal process within the cell that removes all the unwanted and unnecessary protein. This helps the cell just live its normal life. Studies suggest that ubiquitin protein ligase, E3A, is a critical role in the development and function of our nervous system. In our nervous system, only our mother's gene of the UBE3A is expressed. Angelman syndrome occurs when that gene is non-functional or missing. So you may ask, what are the risk factors of Angelman syndrome? So there are no known risk factors of Angelman syndrome. In some cases, a family's history may increase the risk of getting this disorder. But the disease is rare, only occurring in 1 in 10,000 people. As well as the life expectancy of an individual with Angelman syndrome appears to be normal. Some characteristics of an individual with Angelman syndrome consist of the following. Developmental delays, intellectual disability, no speech or minimal speech, difficulty walking, moving or balancing well, frequent smiling or laughter, happy, excitable personality, trouble going to sleep and staying asleep, seizures, stiff or jerk movements, small head size with flatness in the back of the head, tongue thrusting, hair, skin, and eyes that are light in color, unusual behaviors, and sleeping problems. And some medical complications consist of the following. Feeding difficulties such as problems of swallowing or sucking. This usually occurs during the first few months of life. Sleeping disorders such as frequently waking and hyperactivity tends to decrease as the child gets older, but many young children with Angelman syndrome may have short attention span and move quickly from one activity to the next. There is a curvature of the spine or scoliosis and obesity. Older children with Angelman syndrome tend to eat more. Now that we know more about Angelman syndrome, let's talk about its history. So it was first identified by Dr. Harry Angelman. Dr. Angelman first observed three young children that were not related with similar symptoms, which consisted of severe intellectual delay, stiff, lack of speech, seizures, motor disorders, and happy demeanor. Then while vacationing in Italy, he observed an oil painting called A Boy with a Puppet by a renaissance artist. Reminded of the children, Dr. Angelman published a paper in 1965 that described what he called puppet children. It wasn't until 1982 when Dr. William and Dr. Fries submitted a paper to the American Journal of Medical Genetics that it became clear that the syndrome was more common than previously thought before. They proposed that the name of the syndrome be called Angelman syndrome. Then in 1986, Dr. William started an Angelman research group ARG for facilitating research and education on Angelman syndrome. A few years later, in 1990, the ARG became Angelman Syndrome Foundation. So this concludes my video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned a lot. Bye!